Hey, it's Nathan LaValle here. Um, yesterday, January 10th, my little sister Kendra LaValle left my grandparents' house in her car, was driving to a friend's house when the driver coming towards her lost control on some ice and slid into her lane, causing a head-on collision. And the accident was very bad. And Kendra sustained very serious injuries to her legs. Uh, it's a miracle that she wasn't hurt in more ways than she is, but even still, she is very injured right now. Um, she's in an ICU. That's where I am right now. I'm in a family waiting area in an ICU in, in a hospital in Washington. When I heard, I got the call from my mom, I, I booked a ticket and I flew from Louisiana to Washington to, to be here to support her and to support my family. Both of her legs are very, very injured. Both of her femurs are broken, both of her knees are broken. And she's looking at a very long road of recovery, probably six months or so. Um, they have to contain the infection. They have to make sure that, that her wounds aren't infected and that her bones aren't gonna be infected before they can begin doing reconstructive surgery on her legs. But even still, we're looking at a week or two of, of being in intensive care and months and months before she is able to even regain mobility again. For any of you who know Kendra, you know that she is so courageous and so gentle and so undeserving of this. And we're kind of standing next to her looking down this really scary road of several, several months of tough, tough work. And her and her husband are standing strong through this. Her husband, Josh, is just being so amazing and, and standing by her through this. But, but the reason I'm making this video is we're, we're launching a GoFundMe campaign for her and for him to help them in this time. Now, I don't know what the exact costs will be. I'm gonna update um, this campaign as we learn more about that, as we learn more about what insurance is and isn't going to cover and the needs that she may or may not have. But, but we know that there's gonna be serious needs because in all reality, her husband Josh is probably gonna have to, to be her primary caretaker for several, several months as she recovers. And that means loss of income. That means inability to pay for food. Um, and there's all kinds of special things that we know she's gonna need, special hygiene products. They, they might have to build a ramp to be able to get her in and out of her place that she is staying. And so we're calling on all people that, that Kendra has impacted and touched to pass it back to her. And this is something that, that she wouldn't ask for herself, but as her brother, I wanna ask of you, we're starting this GoFundMe to help them in the process of walking this painful road. And whatever gift you might be able to give to this project is gonna help them with that tremendously. Maybe you don't have a lot to give. I, I kind of imagine that Kendra is the type of person that's probably impacted so many people that it could be a hundred small gifts that get them through this time. And so no gift is too small for this. You, you might not be able to give financially, we need your prayers just as much as we need your financial support right now. Kendra needs your emotional support as much as she needs your financial support right now. And so I'm asking if you can stand up and stand alongside Kendra in, in one of these ways, please, please do so. I'm going to provide more update, update videos over the course of the next few days. I'm kind of helping get this campaign going for them. Um, show your support for Kendra. Um, that's all I ask. All right.